Hello everyone, my name is Maria. I am reporting from the Cybersecurity Center at Cal State Fullerton, and I am with Ben today. Ben, I'm so excited to be with you here today at the Cybersecurity Center. I know you have a lot to tell us today. Uh, please introduce yourself and tell us about the project you're working on. Hi, hi guys, um, I'm Ben. I'm a second year grad student. Um, at the Department of Computer Science, California State University of Fullerton. Uh, I'm working on this exciting project. Uh, it's based on virtualization security. Uh, it's called SPOC. It stands for uh, Security and Privacy Optimized uh, Checkpointing Mechanism for Closed Source Operating Systems. And uh, it's a pretty exciting project. I'm, I like what I'm doing. How, uh, how does your project uh, benefit our community? Okay, uh, that's a good question. So in today's um, you know technologically advanced world, um, a lot of lot of uh, cloud systems basically use virtualization in, in the background. Um, so my project basically ensures that the uh, the security of uh, you know the users of the virtual machines uh, do not get breached and it's, it stays within the scope of the virtual machine. It does not get exposed to the outside world. That is great. Um, how do you feel your project is going to help in the future? Right, so <laughs> there are a lot of uh, points uh, um, when it comes to the benefits of uh, you know, the secure checkpointing mechanisms. Um, so basically, um, one of the main things that you know, my project would do is you know, ensure that you know, the data uh, generated by users, it could, be, it could be important in critical data, uh, it could even it, it could be it, it could range you know from a simple user to the government, and basically it would ensure that the data that you know is generated by the user behind the virtual machine, uh, kind of does not get leaked uh, on on you know it does not there is no possibility of breaches, hmm. um, and then the data uh, and the information generated by the user, uh, such as you know, <clears throat> uh, credit card numbers, bank details. Um, I don't know documents, important documents. Uh, those those kind of files and you know uh, data kind of remain within the scope of the virtual machine, and it's not it's not it's not going to be pretty if uh, some of you know the the data and information that you're actually working on is exposed. And there are, there's a high possibility that um, you know that these data can persist. Uh, as the current mechanisms to checkpoint um, data are not secure enough. So we're mm -hmm. looking to close that gap. That is great. That sounds like great news. We are all need of secure um, information, right? We need to secure our, our oh, yeah. bank accounts That's or right. privacy. So that is great news for all of us. What kind of tools, what kind of tools are you using for this amazing project? Because I think everybody's wondering, you know, how is he doing it? So we're in your lab, we're at your workplace, so we're, we can see that you have all, all your, or the equipment right. here. Right. So what can you tell, tell us? What well, tools do you use? Wow, or, uh, okay, that's, uh, that's, a, that's a good broad question actually, because you know, considering the scope of the project. Yeah, I'm using a lot of uh, different technologies, um, the hypervisor technology as, um, you know, Quimu, uh, that would be my hypervisor. Um, it basically uses, um, KVM in the background um, that leverages Intel's um, virtualization uh, instruction set, and you know uh, it virtualizes uh, host operating uh, guest operating systems um, such as Windows. So, <clears throat> as as I as I just said, um, as a guest virtual machine, I'll, I'll be using Windows because it's a closed source operating system and. You know, it makes things much more difficult and challenging because of its closed source nature. Um, mm -hmm. None of the uh, APIs and you know mechanisms are exposed for users to examine and modify. So it makes it really hard and challenging. Um, so did you I'm, pick Windows because it's more available to everyone or more commercial? Or It, it is. Um, I think Windows is one of the most installed operating systems these days uh, just because um, it's... Um, it's it's out there on most you know PCs and and desktops, um, and you know you we wanted to you know try to crack uh, you know this down and try to make sure that the security of such uh, closed source operating systems within you know virtual environments kind of remains secure. Um, 
and we respect privacy of users and you know that's one of the main reasons what uh, kind of motivated us to kind of pursue this uh, endeavor oh. um, yeah, and remember, knowledge is power. So if your adversaries get knowledge is power, I like that. I like that. That's so true. And yeah, it would not be pretty if uh, you know your, you know your enemies or your adversaries have access to your data, and you know, so that would mean you know they have access to what you're doing, and you know they can take advantage of that. Just oh, take, you're right. Yeah, just just imagine the situation where if, if you're working as you know, the government and, you know, your data gets exposed to, you know, adversaries. So that's not going to be good, right? So we want to make sure, we want to make sure that it never happens. And, you know, this is one of the stepping stones to actually kind of conceal data within, you know, its scope. That is great news because uh, not only it uh, will help individuals uh, by what you mentioned, it would also apply to big companies and even the government. That is great news. So, um, what are your plans for the future? Because I know you have a lot in mind, you're working really hard, and I can see that your project will be just the beginning of something bigger. So, what, what are you going to do with all this uh, knowledge you're acquiring here? How are you going to uh, practice it? What are you going to do? Hmm. Uh, that's a good question. Um, I'm hoping to kind of do more to get into you know, research and development. Um, but in the future, I would definitely consider pursuing a doctorate in you know, computer science. That is great. That yeah. sounds like great news. So, but you know, we see um, how you work hard. We are in your lab, and it's pretty amazing everything you have been um, uh, sharing with us. But we want to know you a little more. Tell us okay. about what your hobbies are. What do you do when you're not working? <laughs> uh, do you have a favorite game? What do you do for fun? What do I do for fun? Huh? Let me see. Uh, this? This is what I do for fun. Wow. <laughs> it looks nice. Create posters. Uh -huh. uh, so this one you did it yourself? Oh, yeah, yeah. This, this is you a poster designed that I, it? Yeah, I designed it myself completely from top to bottom. Um, oh, it's nice. Yeah. It's really nice. I, I love how beautifully disorganized you know, this uh, poster is. I mean, if you see the background, it's all sequences of characters that are generated by PSGs, that is super random um, generators uh, in the background. Let me go a little closer. Uh, yeah, so it's, it's all cryptography and, uh, you know. So those are actually, um, uh, the background is actually, it comes from your work? From it, it, it comes from my work, basically. It's C-Matrix. Uh, C-Matrix is a utility in, uh, a in Linux. Uh -huh. uh, so, yeah, that's just the background I designed. Uh, wow. Yeah, I, I decided to, you know, put that background because it's very, I mean, it, it looks it looks really cool on, on this project. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, and, and yeah. This is your laptop, right? This, this is where I you like do doing. the work. Okay. But, uh, yeah, I, I do enjoy listening to a lot of music. Um, music is probably one of, the, one of my second most, okay, my, my favorite uh, pastimes. So, I listen to music. Um I, I like to hang out at the beach. Mm. Let me see. Yeah. Um, beach. Uh, yep. I like to hang out at the beach. And I also like to spend my time uh, reading books. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. Your favorite book that comes to mind now? Okay. my One of my favorite books, I think it's A Million Little Pieces by uh, James Frey. Um, that's probably one of the books that I, would, I really liked over the years. Mm -hmm. I thought that uh, while I was talking to you earlier, you mentioned that you also like to play guitar. Oh, yeah, I do. Actually, I do, yeah. Um, I like playing the guitar because, you know, I like rock and roll. And, yeah, it's, it's, what, I've, it's what I've been doing. So, I, I, uh, I don't know. I, What's that song that you can't <laughs> stop playing? <laughs> yeah, so there are a couple of uh, songs. And I think one of, one of, my, my, one of my favorites uh, would, would be... Um, I don't know. I have a lot of favorites, basically. So, "Shocking Blue" by Venus is one of my one of my favorites. Um, one of my favorite songs. Uh, it's 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 a song from the '60s, and I don't know. That really I don't know, it gets to me, and I like it. Uh, and I think I have I have other favorites. Uh, I also you know you know uh, Led Zepp and um, I don't know um, Boston and mm -hmm. other really cool you know bands of the city. Stephen Wolf. Yeah, that's one of my favorite. Magic Carpet Ride. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's one of my, I don't know, I like it. I like it a lot. I like one of some of the old, older music because, you know, they, they had this uh, really nice 
uh, tune and yeah, it's it sounds great. That is amazing. Yeah. We really enjoy having you today. Uh, what what skills have you learned here in the Cybersecurity Center working in your project? And uh, the last question I would like you to um, answer or share with us is, um, what can you tell to the future students? Okay, so with respect to skills, I guess I've got a deeper understanding of the system internals um, when it comes to the Windows operating system. I, I know how to debug um, you know, uh, the kernel, uh, Windows kernel. I know how to get into that and I know um, I know Linux operating system internals better than what I used to know. Um, and really exercising my skills on that, and you know, uh, systems programming is something that I'm kind of passionate about. I, I like doing it, so I'm, I'm getting to uh, I'm getting a good chance to exercise all those uh, skills and put them to use. Um, and a good understanding of the internals of the operating system uh, concepts. So I think that's really crucial in any computer science related field because you want to know what your computer is capable of and what better way than to understand the OS. Oh, that's right. Yes. You get to the bottom of everything. Yes. That is great. And what um, advice would you give to future students? Um, just two. Um, one is um, be passionate and second is think different. Because, you know, it's, it's so important that you move out of, you know, the traditional, you know, thinking and then try to try to uh, be more uh, just loose and um, try to be more passionate in what you do and I'm sure people are really uh, students uh, here are really smart and you know they just need to uh, just loosen up I guess and just think different think out of the box don't do what everyone else does that's what I that's what I can say uh, one of the best advices that I got from uh, my mentors uh, was this so um, yeah that's basically it. And uh, yeah, be uh, coming from a security guy, I would say, yeah, just try to, uh, I mean, I think uh, privacy of data is something that's really, uh, I, I, live, I live by that um, motto. So yeah, I would just ask uh, or, you know, I, I would recommend that, you know, uh, people have a good uh, appreciation towards uh, information security and computer security in general. That is great. Thank you very much for allowing us to interview you. We had a great time. Thank you for letting us um, get into your um, life and your projects. And um, please, everyone, when you see Ben, say hi. He's working really hard, and he's going to make a difference for every one of us. Thank you, Ben, and I, I hope to see you soon. Oh, yeah. Thank Bye. You. Thank you so much. Bye -bye. You're welcome. Bye.